luck tonight, huh? Number two, let's go. channel I follow it uh, been following it all season so it props to the guys that are doing this Car number two, Houston Speedway, BillionAuto.com, Jackson Motorplex, High Performance Lubricants, JRC, sponsoring David Gravel from Watertown, Connecticut. Gravel on the clock now. He goes below the cush over in one and two, right through the middle groove. Hammers down the back straightaway. Gravel, the winner of the Dirt Car Nationals, the Skagit Nationals. Finished 10th here last year with the Outlaws. 13.796 on lap number one. That's 11th quick. 11th quick on lap number one for Gravel. Right rear right up against the cushion through three and four, and he brings it down to lap number two of 13,799. Sweet sets the pace as the pole sitter hits that white chalk line and the green is in the air. Sweet leads Tims into turn number one. David Gravel will look to the inside of the 5T, couldn't steal the second spot. He'll follow Tims down the back straightaway. Kerry Madsen running in the fourth spot and now the transfer position belongs to Landon Brooks in car number 5B. Opening lap in the books. Battle right behind him as Jacob Allen tries to get to the inside of Craig Kinzer. Couldn't do anything with him. Now Jacob moves up a group. He's going to try the outside as he tries to track down Craig Kinzer and get one spot closer. Looks like the bottom group has finally come in to play. The uh, slipperiness has gone away just a bit with that tricky cushion around the top of the speedway. The bottom is the fastest line in one and two. Jacob Allen has to get out of that line if he wants to do anything with Craig Kinzer. Now a peek to the inside as they roll into quarter number three. Quarter number four closing in on Tim's with two to go. David Gravel really making a run at that 5T car. Now the 5T catches the cushion and Hank heads off down the back straightaway as we get ready for the white flag. One lap remaining, it is all Brad Sweet out in front of the field. David Gravel with one lap to try to move into the Dirt Vision fast pass dash as he rockets into corner number one. Landon Brooks still holding down that final transfer spot, but nobody's gonna catch Brad Sweet. Off of turn number four, he's gonna get the win. Second will go to Ryan Timms, David Gravel a close third.
some tear offs on. It's California. You use a lot of tear offs in California. Starting 11th in the feature. I got a good feel. I think we'll be good. Bottom's coming in. I think the track's shaping up to race pretty good. So, see what we can do. Can we get a top five? Maybe on the podium. guys nights over at Hanford it was a wild one in the a main we uh, what did we do here we went backwards start 11th try how back far back were we I don't know buddy we were pretty far back 17th 16th 18th yep. we gained back up though yeah fell back was hanging out there not doing too good a couple restarts was able to pass some guys hit the bottom one restart I probably passed like six guys there was a crash that helped me with a couple people um, then we kind of got in the hunt there. I think we were ninth uh, later in the race, gained a couple spots, and then really raced there at the end and had a chance to run fourth, but I just couldn't get the job done. I needed to clear them on the bottom in three and four uh, late in that race and uh, couldn't get it done. So ended up seventh, I believe. Um, decent recovery from where we were earlier in the race. Um, Brad finished right in front of me, obviously. I want to beat him and have to beat him, but. Um, you know, just couldn't get it done. We were real close, and I was kind of committed to the bottom and wasn't comfortable running the top. The cushion was huge, 
and uh, got really treacherous. Donnie crashed on the cushion, which doesn't happen often. So we finished seventh after all said and done, guys. Kind of like it was the other night at Chico, where we fell back early and, and gained everything back. This was committed to the bottom, and uh, it got me up to seventh. But then uh, just couldn't get the job done to have a chance to run in the top five. The guys kind of all moved up and. The pace up front kind of was uh, a little too fast for the bottom, but um, yeah, we were just off a little bit tonight, but to salvage a seventh place and not be that good, uh, we'll take it. So we got the long trip. I'm driving from here to Indianapolis, so it's like 36 hours, so I'll be traveling down the road for the next few days, get there hopefully Monday night, and uh, set up camp there for a couple days, and we'll see you guys Friday in Eldora. Appreciate you guys. Hope you liked the video. Please ring the bell for notifications. Give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Give me some feedback. Do you guys like the video? Do you like the camera angles? Do you like the in-between stuff? Uh, give me some feedback, guys. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you next week.